The Education Minister, Dr. Yawase Duchim, was confident rote learning would be a thing of the past in the country, looking at the programs and policies being rolled out by the Ministry of Education. He says the country risks sacrificing the creativity of students should such a practice continue to be with us. We want to see a situation where we are creating knowledge every day and we are not dispensing knowledge to the children for them to give it back to us. In Ghana, we call that chew, poor pass, and forget. But I call that chew, poor, fail, and be forgotten. Because invariably, those who chew and poor don't pass. We cannot create an education system based on record. Record is the lowest level of learning. So if you are teaching pollution and you are asking students to talk about causes of pollution, effects of pollution, that is fine. But the highest level of learning in that lesson will be when you ask students to create a city without pollution. They come together, brainstorm ideas, and talk about solar energy and, um, and uh, electric cars and others that will not pollute the environment. That is when you are really talking about bringing about transformation in your society. Because those children will leave that classroom and they'll forever remember this, that lesson and they'll always look for ways of bringing about solution to problems that has confronted us for years. We have to come to a point when we are looking at age-old problems with a new set of eyes. He expressed worry about how every educational policy that is fashioned out in the country is politicized. Our education strategic plan is solid, great, and invariably I hear people saying, you are politicizing education, and, and yes, some of us as politicians are our worst enemies because when MPP does something great, NDC will make sure it's torn apart and vice versa in many times. Consequently, we diffuse the confidence of the Ghanaian in our system. You're doing everything and everyone is second guessing as to whether it's a political gimmick or it's truly something that can change the fortunes of this country. When I see e-blocks being politicized, I, I say no. E-block at Kwabinya, great location. Agrik in Zima in Kumasi, great location. The schools are full. Why should I say that it's a bad thing? Director General of the Institute for Educational Planning and Administration, Dr. Mike Boachia, dominicated the commitment of the now UNESCO Category 2 Center of Excellence is shaping up education in the country and the West African sub-region through effective leadership. Our team believes in harvesting indigenous cultural knowledge to enhance research, teaching, and outreach. We encourage decolonizing uh, educational practices and research in Ghanaian higher education especially. And we support decentering whiteness and recentering blackness in our practices. Our niche, therefore, is the introduction of practitioner seminars where accomplished practitioners, scholar practitioners, the 40th session of the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization General Conference approved IEPA's application for the Category 2 status in November 2020. Reporting for Joy News, Richard Kwejonyaku, Cape Coast.